He's the most lovable cop in all of Zootopia, and his passions, like mine, are donuts and pop singer Gazelle. Well, we'll just say the donuts. I'm talking about, of course, comedian Nate Torrance, who voices Clawhauser, and he's joining us right now for the Zootopia DVD release. Hey, Nate, greetings from Las Vegas. Hey, Jeff. All right, Nate, so Clawhauser loves two things, donuts and pop singer Gazelle. But what does Nate Torrance love? Oh, boy. I would have to say Chinese food and, hmm... I don't even uh, I don't even have a band anymore. Not listening to <laughs> I have kids and boy I listen to a lot of One Direction. <laughs> so so unfortunately I'm the anti One Direction and Chinese food. That's my that's my Clawhauser answer. <laughs> now Nate, we all know that Disney has the magic touch, but were you taken by surprise at the extreme success of Zootopia? Absolutely. I think uh, I think everyone was taken back by that a little bit. I mean, you, you go into a project hoping that, uh, you know, it's something you can be proud of, something that, that, that people do end up going to see at least. And as, as the train just kept on going and going and going, uh, about, about a month ago, it just became surreal. And you just kind of step back and be like, wow, this is something I, I don't expect to ever go through again in my life. <laughs> So tell me about the first time that you actually saw a caricature, a picture of Clawhauser, and what was your reaction? Yeah, it was pretty cool. I actually, you know, I've been working on it for about four years total, and uh, when they approached me, I was on a show called Mr. Sunshine, uh, which was an ABC show with uh, Matthew Perry and Allison Chaney, and um, they actually drew Clawhauser in an outfit that I was wearing as my character Roman on that, and uh, they said, you know, we just we see this character as you and, and your joyfulness. And uh, and so that was the first time I got to see him and I was kind of overwhelmed by it. And then he slowly became a police officer and um, loved donuts and gazelle and all of that came later. But uh, yeah, really surreal. Now, you come from a background in comedy and Zootopia has got lots of laughs. Were you allowed to improv some of your lines or was it all mostly just kind of by the script only? Yeah, you know, usually you, you start off and you, you want to just get the line down. You want to give a couple takes emotionally because that's what's interesting is, um, you know, they don't know what takes they're going to be bringing in or where, where it's going to lie. So you give different energies, different emotion, different realities. And then, you know, after about maybe eight or nine takes, then Byron and Rich both were really cool with letting me, like, just bring anything to the table, even, you know, changing lines or, or energy wise, they were like, Hey, do you have any ideas? So with that collaboration, I think we were able to, to really form a cool character and all the other uh, actors I know had the same experience. So. I have to admit when I first saw the trailer for Zootopia, I went in kicking and screaming. I didn't want to see about a movie with a little bunny rabbit who was a cop, but I'm telling you the first five minutes of that movie, you are howling at the screen, the humor, the, the, the love in the movie. It's just, it was just so well done. What a great story. Yeah, no, I think you're right on. I mean, that was the, that was the whole thing. There was this idea of the, the easy way they could have made this movie. And, uh, and they didn't go that route. They actually had this amazing plot and storyline as far as even the, the crime caper and the whodunit of the movie. And then these, the secondary humor that they just constantly were, were machine gunning jokes into. And then they have this amazing moral to the whole story. Um, I think it's all three of those that just make it, 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 it makes it good cinema. <laughs> So now you're a Clawhauser, you're immortal. So tell me about your favorite fan encounter. Do you like little kids light up when they find out that you're the voice of Clawhauser? Yeah, it's been so cool. I have, my phone has just gotten lit up with, uh, with friends or, or, you know, fellow like, like old castmates and stuff that have called and said, Hey, will you leave a, a birthday message for my niece or can you record a voicemail? And uh, that's been so cool. I, I've definitely realized that they like it better when they're not seeing Nate Torrance's face do Clawhauser. That kind of freaks them out. But when it's on the phone and they get a recording, then, uh, then they really light up. <laughs> All right, Nate, do you have any Clawhauser action figures? I know I got some around here somewhere. 
Oh, I have like a thousand of them. I, I literally, once I, once I found out like that, well, once I saw them even, I was in a, I, I was in like a department store and then I was in the Disney store and I just started buying all of them. And then later on I got a box of everything too. So, so I've got double. I've just been handing them out. I'm the, I'm the Clawhauser Santa Claus of, 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 uh, of my town. <laughs> So Zootopia is now on Blu-ray and DVD. Can you give us a little inside scoop on the extras on the DVD? Yeah, there's a there's a bunch. I mean, there there's a lot of deleted scenes. They actually have a segment on deleted characters, like characters that didn't make it. And then we also go through like all the Easter eggs. Disney's always known for putting just tons of Disney references in the movies. So it goes through that. And uh, oh, and then there's one cool, like an actual feature length documentary that uh, goes into the story of how we made the script. There was tons of twists and turns as far as changes that went through the storyline. And they actually uh, made a documentary on it and put that on the DVD or the Blu-ray as well. Nate, congratulations on the success of Zootopia. But do me a favor, get a babysitter and come out here and visit us in Las Vegas. Dude, I'm there, man. I'm there. That sounds great. Okay, Zootopia is now available on DVD and Blu-ray and on demand and all digital platforms. I'm Jeffrey K. Howard. Thanks so much for joining me. I'll talk to you next time.